Greetings YouTube, the doctor is in, Dr. Urias Papers here, coming at you with another commentary on Dungeons and & Dragons, and today I wanted to talk about all the feats that got deleted from the 2014 Player's Handbook that are now Legacy and did not get replaced. So they're on here as Legacy and there's not a 2024 version of them here, so I want to talk about what we lost why I think they, it, why I personally, my opinion, why I think they may have gotten rid of it, um, and, uh, you know, may, maybe other things surrounding that. We'll give them each a grade, too, just in case you're still playing 5th edition. And, you know, I just want to say, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button. And there's a couple of links in the bottom where I've got a couple of ventures that are on DMs Guild. Check them out. They're there. The links will be there for you to check them out. I've got more eventually that will be coming out i've got two published on dm's guild right now and we'll have more all right let's get into the video all right the first there's not very many of these but so you'll see here the format is there's a legacy version of actor and there's a 2024 version of actor and same thing for alert same thing for athlete as we go to and then these are all things either from just straight out of the 2024 or there's something like Bountiful Luck that was only found in a book that hasn't been replaced yet. So, like, the Cardamancer is from the Book of Many Things. Charger, Chef, um, Crossbow Expert, Crusher, Defensive Duelist, Dual Wielder, Dungeon Delver is our first one. There is no 2024 version of the Dungeon Dwelver, Dweller. At Dungeon Delver. Wow. Wow. Say that 25 times. So, uh, you have advantage on wisdom perception and intelligence investigation checks made to detect the presence of secret doors. <clears throat> I guess that depends on how you were playing the game, how the DM ruled. I always had perception checks to notice something and investigation checks to understand something, particularly if it was mechanical. You had advantage on saving throws to avoid or resist traps. You have resistance to damage dealt by traps. And traveling at a fast pace doesn't impose a, five, a minus five on your perception check. So this one's gone. We don't have another version anymore. Uh, this was okay. I Would I have taken this? No. Um, what grade would I have given it? Probably a C plus. It was okay. It was pretty situational. I mean, there are traps. It depends on your DM. And how much, uh, how many traps they were going to put in. But, I mean, the investigation check and the perception check didn't always work. I mean, that was situational for secret doors. And everything else was geared towards, basically geared towards traps, except for traveling fast. So, it is what it is. It's gone. We don't have it anymore. Um, maybe they felt people were not susceptible enough to traps. Then we got durable. We got elemental adept fey touched there it is right there like i said not very many of these we got grappler great weapon master healer heavily armored heavy armor master inspiring leader keen mind lightly armored linguist is our next one linguist so why did they get rid of this one i have no idea but Linguist is increase your intelligence score by one. You learn three languages of your choice and you can ably create ciphers. And then when you create those ciphers, others cannot decode the cipher you create unless you teach them and they succeed on an intelligence check or they use magic to decipher it like a comprehend. I guess a comprehend language, that depends on how you're playing because the, the wording of that is a little different. <clears throat> um so, I've actually taken this feat on play uh, characters before because of the bump to intelligence. I was looking for something that gave me a bump to intelligence, and I thought having more languages was pretty cool. So, not sure why they got rid of this one. Maybe they felt there was enough things in here that were giving uh, ability increases because there are a lot of new feats that give ability grit. Well, the new versions of feats. Pretty much all the new versions of feats, if they're not origin feats, give a bump to one of your ability scores. So Linguist is now gone. 
We had Lucky. We had Mage Slayer. We have Magic Initiate. Martial Adept is now gone. So we've got... And they added Martial Weapon Training. So Martial Adept is, gives you... You learn two maneuvers, and maneuvers are still a thing in 2024. The Battle Master still has maneuvers. So you learn... This is like being Battle Master... Like junior battle master, it isn't like the full battle master where you get a, you got a whole bunch and you got a whole bunch of dice. This was the junior battle master where you got two maneuvers of your choice from the battle master archetype. If you if a maneuver you use requires the target to make a saving throw, then the DC is eight plus your strength or dex plus your proficiency bonus, and you gain one superiority die, which is a D6. Remember the battle master got a D8. And this die is added to any superiority dice you have from another source. This die is used to fuel your maneuvers. A superiority die is expended when you use it, and you regain it on a short or long rest. So I have taken this feat on characters before because I liked getting, and because it's fighters, and fighters got extra feats and or choices at, at times, and it gave you more maneuvers, gave you more choices of maneuvers, and gave you an extra die. Even though it wasn't a D8, it didn't really matter, it gave you an extra die, which meant you had an extra maneuver that you could use every single short rest. But now it's gone. And martial weapon training isn't really, uh, that isn't really the replacement for it. So martial adept is gone. I uh let's see linguist i need to great give a grade to linguist linguist i'd give a b minus and uh marshall oh we're uh marshall adept i'd give a b too i actually liked it and then we had medium armor master mobile is now gone so uh you increase your speed by 10 feet which is great when you use the dash action, difficult terrain doesn't cost you extra movement. That's great. When you make a melee attack against a creature, you do not provoke an opportunity attack from that creature for the rest of the turn, whether you hit or not. And this is actually a feature that is in the swashbuckler. But now a player can get this as a feat. And that, so with this one, here's the grade I would give this one. I would definitely give this one an A-. minus. I've taken this feat before as well. Having more movement is great, especially on a character who has a lot of movement like barbarians and monks. Uh, not being subject to difficult terrain because rogues can use dash as a bonus action. Um, so that's great too for maneuvering. And the last one, of course, is great. You can come in, do an attack. Whether you hit or not, you can get out. Uh, and rogue swashbucklers could get that, but if you took this as a rogue, you could get that without having to be a swashbuckler. So I thought that was a pretty good feat, but it is now gone. So, and then we go to moderately armored, mounted combat, observant, piercer, poisoner, polearm master, resilient, ritual caster, savage attacker, sentinel, shadow touch... And I don't like this either. So they've got the Legacy Shadow Touched on top of the new version of Shadow Touched. Well, I think one of the other ones in here, Fey Touched, was on top, the Legacy version. And then the, the 2024 is on the bottom. Whereas like Sharpshooter, the 2024 version is on top and the Legacy version is on the bottom. So we've got Sharpshooter, Shield Master, Skill Expert, Skill, Skill Expert, Skilled, Skulker, Slasher, Spell Sniper, uh, this one, Vervneblin Magic is now a legacy. Um, you had to be a gnome for this one. And then you got to cast non-detection at will without needing a material component. And also you could cast each of the following spells once, uh, with this ability. So Blindness Deficitor and Disguise Self. And you regain these if you finish a long rest, and intelligence is your spell casting for this. This was okay. Uh, I would give this a solid B. There were a lot of uses. Disguise Self can be used. You can only cast it once per long rest, but Blindness Deafness is a good one. Non-detection is a good one for not being detected. Blur is always a good one. So, But it's gone now, uh, and I don't know why they particularly targeted this one. 
because it's not even from the 2014 rules, but it's from the Elemental Evil Players Companion, and it is now a legacy. Then we had Tavern Brawler, Telekinetic, Telepathic, Tough, Warcaster, and Weapon Master. So those are the feats that we lost. And they're not coming back unless you're playing a mix or a hybrid of 2014, 2024. But if you're playing straight 2024, those are not in the player's handbook, the new one. Now, they're gone. And uh, so it'll be interesting to see what, you know, what happens. We got the new DMG coming out. I have not seen good things about it at all, uh, you know, but we'll have to see what's in it. And uh, that will have all of our magic items and such in it. And then, uh, you know, I think Monster Manual comes out next year. And then there'll be splat books that start coming out for 2024. And we start the whole cycle over again where we've got a lot of splat books, maybe some new adventures coming out. And eventually, I think we'll see more of these feats that are on this list as a legacy feat that no longer will be alive. All right, that is what I have for everybody today. I appreciate everybody tuning in, and I will catch everybody later.